Hi guys, uh, my name is Nirav and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about difference between EG and galvanized steel. So, let's start with knowing what is EG and what is galvanized steel. Before we start ahead, uh, if you have any other questions in terms of sheet metal or anything related to the metal, I would be more than happy to make another video depending on your comments. So comment below to see what your questions are and I will try to make an explainer video for you, uh, dropping it down in a very simple steps. So let's begin to learn about the difference between EG and galvanized steel. To start with, oh, why do we need electroplating or galvanizing process? So electrogalvanizing and galvanizing are both the methods to apply the zinc on the outer layers of steel in a way that the steel does not directly react to the oxygen outside so that will help steel to stay a bit longer without getting rusted in the environment let's start with understanding what is a zinc electroplating so i will explain this in a very simple way uh, let's understand there is a garden in your area and there are lots of kids and parents come in the garden so at one place if you put an ice cream shop what would happen is the kids around the park get at attracted to the ice cream shop and will start having ice cream so that way you know that this area of a park attracts ice cream similarly if there's a coffee shop in a park you will see those people who like coffee goes to the park goes to the coffee shop and have coffee uh, it works the same way uh, in electroplating so in instead of a garden Let's consider a big pool of uh, electrolytes uh, in which there is a molten zinc and zinc has a positive charge. So when you run a negative charge to the steel, what will happen is all the positive charge will get attracted to the negative charge in a location and that will stick uh, slowly on the surfaces of a steel. So that creates a protective layer around steel and that is what called zinc plating okay so now we know what is electroplating let's move to understand what is galvanizing so galvanizing is uh, like gluing two things together to make a final solution so let's say you are going to stick a piece of paper on a wall so how would you do it you would either use a glue on one side and stick it to the wall same concept works with the galvanizing but in galvanizing it's a bit lengthy process as i explained to you before zinc layer is a protection against the corrosion so what we normally do in this case is uh, we we take the steel part on which we need a galvanizing we clean it we sandblast it we clean it then we put it dip it into a flux solution what that flux solution does is attracts the zinc towards the surface it's just like a glue it attracts the zinc towards towards it so once you have the zinc the flux solution around the metal then we let it dry and then we put the whole thing with flux solution into the big deep bath of a liquid zinc so so that will attach all the zinc particles all the liquid zinc particles around a steel and that will create a more thick and better protective layer than the electro galvanized uh, electro galvanized steel now we know the difference of how two processes are let's dive into the differences of hot dip gal and electroplating electroplated gal which is egz okay so to start with egz uh, is mainly used on inside applications like interior applications of the house for example if you have a steel background or if you have anything that's uh, inside a covered environment we can use EGZ uh, which is electro valve plate and when you are going to use it for an exterior applications for example a light poles or uh, a light meter on the outside that's where we use the galvanized steel so in a way galvanized layer is much more long-lasting than uh, electro galvanized egz 
Now let's dive into the next difference. And the next difference is the cost. So electro galvanizing has less cost and you can buy straight EGZ plates out of a supplier from a supplier. But the problem with that is you can only get electroplated zinc three millimeter thick thickness from the suppliers and you can hot dip gal the bath size is uh, you can dip the whole product into the bath that is your limit in uh, hot dip galvanizing so there is no limit in terms of uh, hot dip galvanizing and there is a limited amount of sheets that you can get in sheet metal uh, that is comes that comes with electroplated galvanized zinc you will get a thin and uniform surface finish in electro gel but uh, you will get a 15 times thicker uh, surface finish and a rough surface than electro gel in hot dip gel. In terms of components, uh, hot dip gel parts are ideal for large and the equipments that are being used outside. And EGZ is more common into the small parts that are and the equipments that are semi inside or inside material or internal. Uh, which are in the internal protection of a surface. It is not directly connected to the weather. I hope this video is more informative to you and it will be useful to you. Um, if you have any other questions or if you have any particular questions about sheet metal engineering, just drop a comment below and I will try to make an explainer video for you.